This is the Thunderbolt Gold. This is the Thunderbolt. This is the Thunderbolt. <laughs> this is the OWC Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. Thunder Thunderbolt Go Dock. This is the new OWC Thunderbolt Go Dock, which is incredibly hard to say, but incredibly easy to use. This dock provides you with multiple USB 4 and Thunderbolt ports, plus USB 3.2 ports operating at a gigabit per second, an Ethernet jack also operating at a gigabit per second, HDMI, audio input, a card reader, and more. This thing will drive multiple displays, although the processor in your laptop is the limiting factor on how big and how many those can be. What makes this dock a Go dock, you ask? Well, unlike many docks, the power supply is built into this, and so all you have to do is connect the power to this one cable. You don't have to bring an external brick with you. That is incredibly helpful if you're traveling. It feels like I could drop it off of a building and it would survive the fall and keep working. I would not recommend that. I only find two things odd about this device. First of all, with the power adapter here on this side, it means that this is really the back of the device. However, a lot of these ports are very useful. I tend to connect and disconnect my USB cables pretty often when I'm packing up and going somewhere. Having them all on one side would be great, but I understand that they need to distribute them. The other weird thing is that there's only one light to tell you that the device is on, and that's on the bottom of the unit. Now, if you plug in USB connectors here, the USB-C ports, there are lights above the ports that will let you know that they are on and they are powered. And so if you glance at it and you have a USB-C cable on it, you can tell that it's working. At $349, this device is worth every penny, but only if you're a creator working in the field with multiple devices. The idea with this, of course, is that you just take this along with all of your gear and you make a portable studio wherever you go and it can connect to anything that you need to handle. So if you're a casual creator, you should just get one of the dongles. I'll have a link to those below in my description. But if you're a pro creator, you cannot go wrong with this, and I cannot recommend it highly enough. What do you think about this? $349, too much money for a portable dock? Would you take this with you, or would you stick with one of those smaller dongles? If you like honest reviews like this, you can find more of my reviews up here. If you'd like to subscribe, and please do, you can do that over here. And if you want some sweet, sweet merch, you can do that below. For Dave Tries This, I'm David Schloss, and as always, thanks so much for giving this a try.